what's up YouTube I haven't made see I'm like what's up YouTube I haven't made a video in a long time but I wanted to make this quick video because I want to talk about if this pandemic is a peak experience and you know a peak experience todito sabemos that it's about something memorable in our life either good bad or just memorable just something that's like I'll never forget that time and we all have that story I mean Dominicans always like in 1975, like they always have stories and all cultures have stories not just Dominicans but um I'm trying to find every single day a piece of positivity a little grain of positivity throughout my day because it's hard it's hard to be secluded away from fam friends and family it's hard to not just do your regular everyday thing like the pleasures of going to the park with the baby or just doing things that you know exploring or traveling or whatever the case is that whatever makes you happy which for me traveling is a big part um, especially with my family just discovering cultures and helping people and just yeah that is a big part of um, who I am and what what I love um, you know in life is being able to experience other cultures and, and different places and just being around different things so I kind of want to make this video because I want us to look at I asked myself this week um, during my journaling was like dear God is this pandemic a peak experience and then I came up with four things of why it, it can be this peak experience and what I can take from it and I hope you guys can take something from this video too so the first one is that absolutely it's a peak experience because it's forcing all of us to slow down it's forcing us to just stop and literally we can't leave our houses and everybody in the world is on the same is in the same boat and you know you ever feel like before the quarantine or before this you felt like either the fear of missing out or you feel which is comes to my next thing um, there's no fear of missing out there's no there's no everyone's out like you and that can feel good in a way and also that can feel a little bit nerve-wracking because we have all these goals and we have all these things um, our baby is gonna be one year this year and we had all these ideas of what we wanted to do with her for her first birthday and um, we can still make the best of it because clearly she's one she's not really gonna remember it unless we you know take pictures and stuff but still you know every mom knows the first birthday is really about the celebration of the parents surviving the first year of parenthood but it makes you feel like okay I'm forced to slow down and I'm not missing out on everything everything that I need everything that I is right here it's in front of me it's talking on the phone with my family and my friends and just still trying to do the regular normal things that I can and what I can control so one forced to slow down absolutely and two, no FOMO, the fear of missing out. Everybody is like you. So if you feel this anxiety of, oh, I need to do this and I need to be productive and all that stuff, like just seriously, just chill. It's okay. Um, the third one is life changing. What part of this pandemic is life changing and it's teaching you something or it's, um, or it's showing you something new maybe you had to learn a new skill maybe you had to learn how to cook more maybe you had to communicate more with your people at work like no matter what you're learning something that you can take with you after this quarantine and so this pandemic is a peak experience because it's forcing us to slow down the fear of, there's no fear of missing out on anything because everybody's the same in the sense of we're all home and this is a peak experience because it's life-changing and then the last one is how can we focus on things that we can control? You know, we, we, there's a lot of things that we can control and um, we can control our attitude. We can control our, the way our, pers you know, our perspective in things. We can control our effort in what we put things. We can change, um, we can control how we react to certain things um, in a sense of like putting a good attitude towards it. There's a lot of things that we can control we cannot control anything else but the things that we can is what we need to hold on to so I try not to make this a video too long because I haven't been on YouTube in a while but I wanted to just leave this out there for you um, that this pandemic is a peak experience for all of us and it's gonna teach us something and we're all gonna be completely different 
So find that grain every single day when you wake up. Find that little grain of rice of gratitude. Find that one little thing that you can and hold on to all those little grains because we will get through this. Thank you for watching. Um, I'll see you next time whenever I post. Ciao!